You probably already know this, but starting your own online business as an entrepreneur can be challenging. You'll most likely run into different roadblocks and detours, and there's no denying that it can be a difficult process. Yes, hard work is important, but the real trick to being a successful entrepreneur is to recognize the difficulties and planning ahead to conquer these challenges. Take into account and keep in mind the common online business challenges that are faced by other entrepreneurs and start setting up a plan to overcome them now. Here are four common online business challenges. Number one is understanding your target audience. Understanding your target audience can be a huge online business challenge. It's likely you'll have a target audience in mind when you start your business. The truth is that your audience during the initial 6 to 12 months can look very different from the audience you originally intended to target. Constantly research and analyze your audience so you know exactly who you're talking to and how you should talk to them. Think about whether or not the target audience have evolved and shifted since you first started and if you want to change certain parts of your business to better satisfy their needs. There are many platforms where people go to passionately discuss things they like. You can use these platforms to find out whether or not your niche has an audience. You can use Reddit, which is a great place to test your niche. It is an online forum featuring thousands of topics. You can find communities built around every single subject, from entrepreneurship to dog training to jokes. Using Reddit to find your target audience is easy. You can start with a bigger idea of what you're interested in, then you can go into the relevant subreddit. Similarly, you can use this method to find your target audience and their pain points through Quora. Another way to find your target audience is through social media networks. You can use Pinterest to see what other people are pinning and look for other people's boards to find new untapped market. You can also use Facebook groups to find different topics and communities. Another challenge is choosing the appropriate way to market. The internet has actually created an unlimited number of ways to promote your business. There is social media, online advertising, affiliate marketing, influencer marketing, and a lot more. The online business challenge now for entrepreneur is selecting the appropriate platforms for your company. Social media platforms can be hugely valuable in creating traffic for your website, but which ones you choose will heavily depend on your business and your target market. When you look at big companies and other entrepreneurs with huge presence on all social media channels, you might think that you need to be everywhere all the time in order to succeed. But no, you need to decide the platform where your target audience are at, the methods that will generate results before diving into all the other ways. Think about the people you're trying to reach out to, which systems will be most efficient to get that done. Challenge number three is establish a unique brand. With all kinds of online businesses starting every single day, it can be challenging to find your place and attract attention. Take a step back and think about why you're running this business. What makes you different or special? What's your story and how can you help people using your own ways? This is a step that might get you stuck. You might get imposter syndrome, thinking that you have nothing special to offer. Remember that no one has your story. No one can help others like you do with the way that you do it. Think about what you have to offer to help you develop your own unique brand, which you can use to bring in clients as well as stand apart from other online businesses. To help you build your unique brand, you need to have elements like a clear brand name, clear brand logo, brand colors, and brand font. You can hire someone from Fiverr to help you with this, or you can start by drafting something through Canva, which is my favorite design tool to easily create stunning and professional designs. You can find out more about branding and how to set your business apart from your competitors in this video right over here. Online business challenge number four is networking. Everything has been taken online. It's bringing the whole world closer, yet at the same time, pushing everyone to focus on being behind their computers. As an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, it can be challenging to develop partnerships when starting an online business from scratch. Networking both online and offline can help you attract your target audience and help you build relationships, work and collaborate with partners and other entrepreneurs. Put yourself out there and make connections through networking. It might be easy to forget, but building relationships is a fundamental part of succeeding in your online business. Starting an online business as an entrepreneur takes a lot of time, money, as well as effort. Take these online business challenges into account and also have a strategy to conquer them when they come into your business. You can start by joining us on our Facebook group and look for other like-minded entrepreneurs. Here's a bonus tip to help you overcome your online business challenge, which is not having enough time. It's difficult as an entrepreneur not to wear all the hats in your business and do everything yourself. 
from designs to content creation, writing, client building, and more, you probably do them all. In a way, it's a great experience for entrepreneurs to dip your toes in everything you do so you can understand fully how everything works. However, it can also be extremely time consuming and frustrating, especially if you're not familiar with a certain aspect of your business. That's why outsourcing is so important. Outsourcing not only allows you to focus your energy on things that you're good at, but also allow you to take your hands off things that you might not be so skillful or experienced at. This can ultimately save you time. Here are some platforms to help find freelancers for you to outsource to. There is Upwork where you can post your job listing on the website and professional freelancers can apply to it. There is also freelancer.com where you can find freelancers to work for you. There is onlinejobs.ph. It's one of the largest online marketplaces for Filipino virtual assistants and employees. Not just outsourcing to people, but by outsourcing your efforts to different automation platforms and tools, you can save time and effort. From social media automation tools, design tools, content creation tools, and email marketing service providers, there are a lot of platforms that can ultimately save you a lot of time and money. To see all the tools and platforms, make sure to grab your online business toolkit by going to yourentrepreneurresources.com forward slash toolkit. These are some of the challenges that many entrepreneurs will face with their online businesses. It's important to know that you need to take your business one step at a time. It's impossible to succeed overnight and only by going through these different online business challenges and continue working and thriving will you be able to achieve and succeed in your journey. Have you gone through any of these challenges? Or maybe you have experienced other challenges that you'd like to share. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.